If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Welcome back to Drawing a Blank. I'm just gonna jump straight to the part where I scream about things. The last two Kingdom Hearts trailers have left me an emotional wreck and I can't contain all my hype. Kingdom Hearts has been such a big part of my life, and I've kept up with all the games and the stories since I first started playing the series in 2006, and to be this close to the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 has me in full-on fangirl mode. Expect a lot more Kingdom Hearts yelling in the next few weeks, because I have a lot of feelings right now, and this is my outlet. Obviously, I've already done some Kingdom Hearts drawings for my channel in the past. I drew Axel in episode 7, and I did a drawing of Riku in episode 17, and I have a speed paint of my aqua print in my intro. I've always said in the past how difficult the Kingdom Hearts designs are to draw, and that's been one of the biggest reasons I haven't done more Kingdom Hearts fan art in the past. But now that Kingdom Hearts 3 is on the horizon, I actually find myself drawing the characters a lot in my spare time, and it's gratifying to feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. I spent most of my time during those previous episodes talking about my painting process, but this time I really just need to gush about Kingdom Hearts, and I've had a lot on my mind when it comes to this series, and I think I just need to get that out in the open. For those of you confused about the whole Kingdom Hearts thing, since I know a good chunk of you probably have no idea what to make of this series, I'm going to spend some of this episode addressing some of your questions and maybe bring you up to speed on why this game is so important to a lot of people, or at the very least, me. First things first, in case you somehow weren't aware, Sean and I are playing through the Kingdom Hearts games right now on his channel. It's been a blast, and we tell a lot of fun stories about our personal journey with this franchise. We have completed Kingdom Hearts 1, Rechain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Roxas's Awful Summer Vacation, otherwise known as 358 Over Two Days, and we are currently in the middle of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which just so happens to be Sean's favorite game of the series. We're going to be covering all the games over there, so if Let's Plays are your jam, it's a good time and we try our best to make the games and story newcomer friendly. So even if you don't have the time or money to get into the series yourself, but still want to know what a big portion of the internet is crying about, there you go. Secondly, if you do want to get into Kingdom Hearts for yourself, Super Butter Buns has a great video on her channel about how to get into the Kingdom Hearts series. She's hilarious and thorough in her explanation, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Okay, so, Kingdom Hearts, man, where do I even begin? Oh. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Some people are into the Disney stuff, the Final Fantasy stuff, but I think it's safe to say that a lot of the diehard Kingdom Hearts fans are into it for the characters and the weird but mesmerizing fanfiction-y plot that the game's director, Tetsuya Nomura, has pulled us along through for 15 plus years of games. I got into this series during middle school, and it was the perfect time for me to emotionally connect to all of these characters, and even now as an adult, really appreciate how crazy and unique of a story experience Kingdom Hearts is. It's flawed, it gets retconned, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But to me, these flaws are part of what makes Kingdom Hearts so special, and Kingdom Hearts wouldn't be the same without it. Just seeing these characters interact with each other makes me more emotional than pretty much any other franchise I've been involved in. Kingdom Hearts gets a lot, and I mean a lot, of ice-cold takes on the internet about it being complicated and silly, and like I said, I don't think Kingdom Hearts is a series for everyone because of those reasons and several others, but Kingdom Hearts is exactly what it sets out to be and doesn't apologize for it, and it's just so refreshing and different in that regard. Even in an age now where crossover events are happening every few months, Kingdom Hearts is still such a league of its own because the crossover aspect of it is honestly the least interesting part. 
And of course it's silly and has a nonsense story. It wouldn't be a Disney and Final Fantasy crossover if it wasn't. It's just part of the charm. And of course, I could gush about the story and characters all day, but the gameplay in this series is just as good, and I've never found a game series that plays exactly like Kingdom Hearts. It's a game series I easily play through at least once a year, and in recent years, Sean and I usually set up two TVs to see who can race through the games quicker. We're not speedrunners by any means, but I will do a little humble brag and say that I'm almost always ahead in our races of Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> Speaking of Kingdom Hearts 1, it's time to kind of talk about what's going on in this piece. So this is based off of the opening cinematic for Kingdom Hearts 3. Japanese pop star Utada Hikaru has wrote and sang songs for all of the numbered Kingdom Hearts games to be used in opening cutscenes of the games. These intros are very symbolic and trippy, more akin to AMVs than anything literally going on in the story, you know? So in Kingdom Hearts 1, they were simple and clean, Kingdom Hearts 2 had Sanctuary, and Kingdom Hearts 3 actually has two songs from Utada Hikaru, Don't Think Twice and Face My Fears. Both of these songs are absolute jams, and I've been listening to them nonstop since their release. I absolutely recommend listening to the Japanese version of Don't Think Twice as well, called Oath. It's mm, good stuff, y'all. <laughs> anyway. This piece was inspired by the opening AMV for Kingdom Hearts 3, Face My Fears. I think it's going to turn into a multi-part piece because I really just need more Kingdom Hearts in my life right now, and this AMV gave me a lot of inspiration. So the AMV goes over a lot of key dramatic moments from the series and has this amazing chessboard theme going on to symbolize how the main bad guy of the series, Xehanort, has been messing up the lives of all our protagonists over the course of the series in very calculated ways. Like it's all a very emotional game of chess. Emotional for me and my poor anime children anyway. Xehanort couldn't care less. <laughs> but the moment I'm drawing is from the portion that represents Kingdom Hearts 1. Sora, Kairi, and Riku are on their island when suddenly they're torn apart by darkness and Riku turns into the main baddie of that game. The chorus of the song drops for the first time right at that moment and it's just the perfect storm of visuals and music that makes me relive all the emotional beats from that first game. So I wanted to try to capture some of that feeling I had here. Riku reaching his hand out to Sora is iconic, so I had to go with that pose, and Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, and his guardian Heartless are behind him. I had a lot of fun with the lighting here, making Ansem and the guardian's shadows and highlights really contrasting, and I'm pleased I got to draw even just a portion of Riku's silly parachute buckle pants. They are in a league all their own. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my drawings and my unashamed fangirling. I hope you all keep me in your thoughts and prayers as I try desperately to hold it all together before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. I'm pretty sure my soul is going to jump right out of my body and transcend before January 29th, but I'm doing my best over here. You can get this print over on Redbubble, and if you really like what I do, maybe throw me a few dollars in the form of Patreon or coffee. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and please stay inspired. <laughs>